Greetings my fellow sci-fighters, this is I Super Sci-Fi Dude, and today I'd like to discuss a few things I was thinking about with the Benton special, Alien Extinction. Now, I wasn't prompted to do this, wasn't asked, no one told me to do it. I simply just did it because I started thinking about it myself. I think that the thing itself is pretty cool on its own, but there were a few things I would have done differently in order to enhance it. As you all may know, I am actually a very big fan of Ben 10. I've made stop motions, played a little bit of the video games on the channel, and have done a top and have done a top six, a top five, my bad, of uh, my favorite Benton series. And also, as you may know from that video, clearly the classic series is my absolute favorite version of Benton. It's the one that introduced me to Benton. It's the one that I like the most and it's got the catchiest theme song so there's no real competition between these two here you see on the screen so the main thing that I want to get to in this video is that how each of these are supposed to represent a different era within the Ben 10 multiverse and I get it they're just representatives you can tell that because you know Ultimate Aliens watch is upside down. Uh, classic Ben is slightly shorter than Reboot Ben. And ben Gwinton is, um, you know, still voiced by the same Gwen that they use in the, cur in the reboot rather than trying to get the original Gwen voice back for this. And Omniverse's watch doesn't have the hologram thing that pops up. It just has the watch that dials up. But the thing I'm trying to get to is... I feel like they could have at least... Like, represented each of their own versions a bit better. Like, okay. Let me get to that real quick. For example... They only gave blocks to Omniverse Ben. I feel like they didn't really treat, you know, the representatives that well. They only gave two at max to any of the other bins, and it was only Alien Force bin who got two of the aliens. Those being both Chromastone and Big Chill. And all they gave Classic Ben was Heat Blast, which I'm actually glad that at least they gave him Heat Blast, because that's my favorite alien, no matter what the series. Only problem I had with this actually pops up in the very scene this screenshot comes from is the fact that they're both the same voice. It's the reboot voice in the Classic Heat Blast body. It would have been way more enhanced had they actually got Steve Blum, the original Heat Blast, to voice Heat Blast for Classic Ben. That would have been way cooler. That would have been another differentiation and would have helped to even make it more obvious the difference. Only way you tell them different right now is their color saturation in certain body shapes. But, if you just closed your eyes and listened to the scene, you'd think the same guy's just talking again, twice. Which, I know they're technically the same character, but they should have different voices to better represent each of their iteration. So, here's what I propose in order to better represent this 
whole series. My idea is to at least to better represent everything and give more diversity to each of the crew. At least give them each five aliens that each of the Bens and the Gwen can transform into. So next I'm going to show you the ones I would pick in order to have each one have a different alien. Anyway, um, starting off with Benton Alien Force Ben. Which is actually the Ben that gave me the idea for this. You already know that... So, I would, funny enough, keep Big Chill and Chromastone on the list. And simply add three others to it. Which are Jet Ray, an alien that the reboot Ben could transform into... So he could relate to this bin as well. I'll also add Swamp Fire to it to, um, you know, show off a different fire guy other than Heat Blast. And this would be another alien bin hasn't really turned into yet. And finally, Humongousaur, which is another reboot bin alien. So, Ben could see another Ben turn into Humongousaur and show off a new technique that he never really thought about doing with his version of Humongousaur, which is to grow even bigger than Big already. So, yeah, that's uh, Ben Tenelian Forces 5. So, for Ultimate Alien for uh, Ben I actually had two variants of an idea either give them these five aliens since they gave them Amphibian in the actual reboot why not the other five like Water Hazard Armadrillo NRG and Terra Spin that way you'd have the five Aliens that were needed in order to get to that Forge of Creation things. So, Agrigor could get his hands on the Alien X. That actually kind of would have been a fitting thing, given that they're going up against Alien X. Or, if not this, why not the five aliens that turn ultimate? And let them actually turn ultimate, given that's the gimmick of the Ultimatrix. Yeah, I know, it's upside down and meant to be different from the one from the actual show, because, you know, this is how it's actually supposed to be worn, rather than the upside down thing. But, upside down or not, I still think it should have the same function and show off the same gimmick. I mean, I mean, this show had its own gimmicks, I mean, this one I'm showing right now, and, you know, the one where... Ben turns his aliens into robots for whatever reason. So it would be fun for this Ben to comment on how much of a gimmick that ultimate thing look, seems to be. And then him to be reminded, oh yeah, I kind of had a couple gimmicks of my own, didn't I? Anyway, for ultimate, I mean, sorry, for Omniverse Ben, these are the ones I would have picked. I would have picked Atomics because he's a heavy hitter. And, um, you know, he's like pretty far up there with, a, like, he could probably do quite a few swings with Alien X. I would also pick Feedback because he's a very unique alien and would have been something kind of nifty to. C. Then blocks, sure, just because he's another representative. And he's kind of part of the kooky thing. And yeah, I think I'm in the same boat as a lot of other people of like... 
having this taste for this guy because he made me think that show was really going to be stupid and wasn't going to work, but I gave it a watch and it was way more fun than it was. Blox isn't the best, but he's kind of already in there by default anyway. And then finally, Grav Attack. Actually, Grav Attack and Wampire. You know, just to diversify the entirety of... Omniverse Ben's playlist. You know, kind of show how kooky and overpowered and uniquely powered a lot of these guys are. From, uh, from Omniverse. I just think these would be pretty cool picks to see. So, for Classic Ben and Gwen Tin, I'm gonna sort of half up the Omnitrix. And, um, you'll probably understand what I'm getting at with this. And, uh... You're weird! Sorry about that. Anyway. So, speaking of weird, funny enough. Um, one pick I'd make for this is Stinkfly. And I would want to make sure he's in his original look, that way to differentiate him from Reboot Ben's look. And, you know, give him the classic voice. Oh, oh it's too fly. Uh, sorry if I butchered that voice. But, like, you know, maybe have Ben react to him and be like, that is one ugly bug. That's your version of Stinkfly? It's like, well, what do you expect? Some sort of more human-looking one? I mean, like, yeah, why, why not like that? And then, next up, Upgrade. You know, they could have definitely done this version of Upgrade because it's just Tara Strong's Ben voice. It's just Ben talking through this thing. And they obviously wanted to go the extra mile that at least visually represent each of the things so they could actually visually represent this and do the voice properly. Rather than that weird purple one that they did for the reboot. Okay, next up, Wild Mutt. You know, it would have been kind of easy to do this one. You wouldn't even have to have made him talk. You could just get old recordings of the roars and junk. And just, you know, do that. And, like... It would have also been a, quite a diverse alien to see, you know, because Reboot Ben hasn't turned into that one. He's only seen it. And the next up, Ghost Freak. Because why not represent one of the craziest things that happened in Ben 10 with this freak busting out of the Omnitrix? And then finally, Heat Blast. You know, because he's my favorite from the classic series, and they already had him in there anyway. But just get Steve Blum to voice him. If they had Steve Blum to voice him, that would have made it way better. So anyway, um, next up is Gwynton. She gets kind of the other half of the uh, Omnitrix, sort of. So, she already got Ripped Jaws in there, which was pretty cool. Nice diverse alien pick. Just kind of a shame it was the only alien she got. So, I propose these as the other four. Four. The forearms. Her variant. A female variant that would have differentiated itself from the one that Reboot Ben turns into simply by being female. Grey Matter, also, again, would be another new site for the series given that only Ben's turned into Grey Matter. Diamond Head? would have been a visual difference due to the fact of, you know, 
same thing. So, would have been neat to see. Also, would have made sense for this one to be one that she'd try a lot because it was one of her most successful aliens in her episode. And she kind of turns to do it a lot in the Omniverse version. Next up, Cannonbolt. Now, this one would have been pretty nifty. And that's, uh, sort of it for hers. Now, as far as things like story goes, you know, it's, it's a pretty decent story, you know, it's, it's trying its best. There are some good jokes in there, like Ben saying, Plumbers, shouldn't you guys be called, I don't know, Alien Force or something? That's a fun joke. And, you know, the whole Alien X, like, X as in mystery or X as in the numeral for tin? Yeah, I know things. You know, yeah, things like that were pretty decent jokes. Now, if the problems that they had were like, you know, if they have, if they would have problems trying to put all the alien suggestions that I made in, just lengthen it a bit. I think it. I don't think this thing's quite movie length. If it was about as long as the movie was. I think they could do a bit more fun with it. You could have had way more stuff going on. Way more, like, dimension hopping stuff. Like, speaking of, why didn't we actually get to see Ben, like, convincing the other Omnitrix users into, like, helping out? Why didn't we get to see any other dimension Hopping shenanigans, like, we didn't get to see this Grandpa Max, um, get this version of Ben to help out, we didn't get to see Ben and Grandpa Max get these three to help out, we didn't see how any of these guys came to be here. I guess they were pressed for time or something, or maybe they were just easy to convince, but come on, you could have had more stuff going go into it. You could have had more creativity with how you represent this entire series. But hey, those are just my personal thoughts. So, just let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, uh, I'll see you dudes in the next one. Bye-bye.